All right, I received a couple of radios in the uh, mail today. Uh, these were donated by Redivis for, for a review. Uh, these are both GMRS radios. Uh, one's a small box and one's a big box, so I say we use the big box today. I'll, I'll, I'll do a uh, video on this radio tomorrow. They also offered my viewers a free radio, um, and so I'll be giving you details later on how you get your free radio. Um, I believe it's a, uh, a radio that's not uh, legal in the United States. It's, I think it's a European version. So anyway, we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, but maybe my European viewers can, uh, can win a new radio. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this one is a RB86 GMSR radio. Uh, no, has NOAA bands uh, for the weather. IP67 waterproof, stun and activate. <laughs> Sounds like it has a, has a stun gun built in. I don't know what that is. Um, emergency alarm function and remote kill. All right. It's a mobile radio for a car. I guess you can use a mobile uh, in, your, uh, in your home too, but they're a higher, higher, po higher power. Let's, uh, let's read the specifications on this thing. 36. Uh, GMRS frequencies, 200 channels, 13.8 uh, volts, uh, 0.2 microvolt sensitivity, uh, 3 watt audio. Where's the, where is the transmit stuff? Next page. Transmit. I don't see transmit wattage on it. Uh... Yeah, I don't see uh, I don't see how many watts output, uh, but we'll we'll go ahead and test that. So we'll we'll figure that out. Comes with a uh, programming cable, and uh, the program on diskette or a small small CD. Um, nice waterproof connector on the uh, power. It's double fused. Both the uh, both lines are fused, which is always nice. It's heavy duty. That that feels pretty quality. I've always been uh, happy with the red of this stuff. Um, it's actually it's actually double fused on the cord, the long cord, then it's singly fused on the radio. So yeah, lots of fuses. That's always a good thing. Um, yeah. All right, let's take it out here. Uh, take the thing off the front. So there we go. Feels heavy. It feels uh, feels very nice. Big heat sink. Lots of uh, cast aluminum heat sink. A little fan in the back. Uh, there's a port in the back that you screw down. That's for headphones and uh, the uh, programming cable. Uh, PL259 connector. High temperature. Do not touch after running. Standard stuff. Looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see what the uh, microphone looks like. Ooh, nice big. A lot of the um, uh, cheaper radios have these real tiny little uh, microphones that I don't like, and this one's nice and big. This one feels really good in the hand, so yeah, I like this. It's got a keypad for all the numbers, up, down, AB. Uh, yeah, I like this a lot. Um, standard thing to hang it on. Comes with a, comes with a thing where you can hang up the microphone. And here's the connector uh, that goes here on the front. There it goes. Uh, so we put that on here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's uh, see what else is in the box and we'll turn it on. Yeah, of course you get the bracket and you get a bunch of mounting screws and extra fuse, um, two fuses. You get two two fuses and uh, yeah, there you go. And the little, like I said, little microphone hanger thing. So yeah, let's, um, let's turn it on. All right, I've uh, attached the bracket it comes with and allows you to set the angle. So uh, it's nice for uh, mobile use here. Let me uh, turn on the power and turn on the button. Uh, well, 
lost my ground connection. There we go. All right, so nice looking display. Um, the that's the volume on the uh, on the control here. A B. I can change from the A to the B. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty standard radio. There's a uh, like I said, the 200 member channels, I think it said, and uh, all the standard stuff. I don't think we need to go too far into the radio. Um, I think what we need to do is make it transmit and receive and give that a go. Um, yeah, looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, get a uh, adapter on here and uh, play with it a bit. Okay, so let's hook this up to the spectrum analyzer. Um, I don't know the power rating of this, but it could be 25, 30 watts. I, you know, it's, it's, it's built like it, it is. I, I, I haven't found the specification for it yet. So um, I'm going to use this attenuator they have. It's a 30 watt attenuator. It's a 30 dB, 30 watt attenuator. Um, and I think that will get us into the safe range of our spectrum analyzer. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, preset. Let's see, we're going to be around 400 megahertz. So let's do a uh, start frequency of, let's say, oh, let's see here. Let's say uh, 300 megahertz. And we'll do a stop frequency of a gigahertz. All right, we'll tell the spectrum analyzer that we have a 30 dB pad. And we will change the units to watts. We can read out watts here. Uh, we will set the reference level to, uh, let's say, 30 watts. Um, so 30 watts, then 3 watts, then 0.3 watts. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's transmit. Oh, there we go. We're a little over three watts. So let's uh, let's uh, do a max hold, and we'll do a peak on that. And we're measuring five point three nine watts. So that is um, low power. So. 5 watts low power. Let's go to, uh, let's see, that's high power. Let's go to medium power. Okay, this is medium power. And it's a little bit higher. 9 watts. 9 watts medium power. All right. And we will go to high power. See, that's okay. This one is high power Ooh. 18 watts. All right, so there you go 18 watts output. Um, no spurs at all, which is very nice. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on it. Well, I don't think we really want to zoom in because we want to catch the uh, second harmonics and stuff. The second harmonics is going to be around 800, which is over here. So yeah, um, let's zoom all the way out. Let's do a frequency, stop frequency of uh, three gigahertz. Let's just make sure. Yeah, there's no spurs at all. It's very, very nice. Um, let's change the uh, units back to dBm. And uh, we are at 40, about 45 dBm, minus 3. We're at 14 dBm. Our max input is 30 dBm, max input. But it'll complain. It'll actually um, beat that as if we're getting up too high. All right. So everything is looking very nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on this. Uh, marker, marker to center frequency. Uh, let's, yeah, there we go. Let's uh, zoom in on that.
let's see, 30 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. Let's, that's 30 kilohertz is fine. Let's make a tone. 10. Test, test, test. Okay, let's go back. It's doing max hole here. Let's go back to right. Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> so we need to zoom in a little further. Peak to center. Let's span to about three kilohertz. There you go, testing. Let's zoom in even farther. There we go, there's some FM. Let's do it a little farther. Yeah, there's FM. And let's zoom in even farther. Nice. I don't know if you hear that, the little fan on the back of the, uh, little back, the little fan on the back of the radio comes on, which is very, very nice. All right, so no harmonics. Uh, very nice. And 18 watt output. What was it? 18, nine and three, 18, nine and five. I think that was what it was. So pretty good power levels. All right. First, I'm going to transmit to this radio. So this radio will be the, uh, will be the receiver. Uh, I'm going to be transmitting with, uh, a Redivis, uh, I forget the, the number of it. I think it's an 89. All right, here we go. And let me move my microphone over. Hello, test. Testing one, two, three. Hello, test. All right, so this time we're going to be transmitting from this radio to this radio. Hello, test. Testing, oops, <laughs> getting some feedback now. Hello, test. Testing one, two, three. Okay, everybody's favorite part. Let's open it up. Um, so there's just four screws here on the top, and the uh, speaker comes off. It's on a little connector here, so let me pull that connector. There we go. Oops. And the screws fall out. Make sure you don't lose them. Okay, there we go. So nice uh, cast cast aluminum piece. 8 ohm, 3 watt, uh, 8 ohm, 3 watt speaker. Nice big speaker. So nice, uh, nice audio quality. Um, and uh, yeah, here we go. Um, you can see lots of uh, coils in the back there. Some cans of stuff under here. A uh, little. Uh, this is just a little foam pad to hide the uh, power connector coming in. Uh, that's the fan connector. Yeah, hides the fan connector. Power comes in back here. Protection diode. Um, yeah, let me uh, let me zoom in a bit. All right, let's see what we can see here. Um, I'm assuming the microprocessor is probably up here in the. Uh, up in the front part of the radio where the display is. There's probably the processor and all the button, all that stuff in here. This is all just the radio part here. So the uh, main oscillator is probably this. Um, there's probably a VCO under the can here. There's two crystals here. That's probably a selective in receive crystal filter. There's a 450 crystal-y type thing over here. Um, so it's probably dual heterodyne type of thing, FM. Uh, the connector is right, comes in right here. Uh, these coils here are the transmit um, filter to kill all the harmonics, so they're doing a good job. Power, the power FET is, is under here, bolted down to the heat sink, which is another cast aluminum thing on the bottom. Um, Looks like there's something here bolted down. That's probably the uh, audio amplifier for the speaker, which goes here. This is probably the audio amplifier five pin thing. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Uh, construction quality looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, not too bad. Like I said, I've uh, always been uh, Impressed with the Redivis stuff. It seems to be a little jump above most of the things you see and uh, good good construction here so there is some um, a Big inductor here that sends the VCC to the power fat uh, you can see some microstrip uh, 
lines here where we are coming over to um, the filter. There's also some filters over here, which is on the receive side. So we have some receive filters come in over this away. I'll just zoom in a little farther because I know people like it. Uh, so here's the top half of the machine. And here's the bottom half. Okay, uh, that was my review of the Redivis GMRS Mobile Radio RB86. Seems pretty good.